Supped it. Hang on, I can't save. Sup, fucks. Um, I'm gonna go get a beer. I'm already drunk, and I haven't eaten anything. So I'm gonna go get a beer. All right, and then we're gonna read comments. Because people piss me off again. Jesus. God damn it. Cheers, betches. Pacific how. I'm actually excited about this. It's so funny. I get excited when you assholes say stupid shit about poetry. It like puts like a fire under my fucking taint all over again. And makes me want to fucking just yell at you. I'm going to go make urine come out of my dick hole. So here's the thing. Please, please, for the love of God, don't think I'm telling you to not comment on my videos. I love that you have shit takes and comment. And honestly, you can have all the shit takes you want because, again, art is subjective. You're allowed to like what you like and dislike what you dislike. Nobody fucking cares. So keep it to your damn self, except when you're leaving me a comment because it gives me something to talk about because I fucking love this. This is what gets me hard, son. I love this shit. So if you haven't joined my mailing list yet, go ahead and do that because shocker, I'm changing my website too. I'm tired of hating me so you guys don't have to. I finally fucking love myself and give a shit enough to like be better than just hating myself out of ironic humor. Like I'm the fucking shit and um, I completely understand that now and everyone's gonna have to fucking choke on that. So moving right along, let's go to full face sup. Sup, sup. I need to wash my hair. It's looking a bit oily, a little bit oily. So we're gonna fucking clean that. So let's go to the chat. Now, first off, I didn't read all this yet and I'm not gonna read it right now because this motherfucker wrote a book. This is Christopher Poprit. Now, I did go through actually the second half of this after skimming the first part. I actually like what he has to say here. But here's the thing. If you're leaving this much of a comment, I appreciate you putting this much effort into it. I really fucking do. But if you're putting this much shit in here, you fucking better have your own motherfucking channel, dude. Like, you got a lot of shit to say. Motherfuckers need to hear it. So... Why the fuck you haven't started your own channel yet, I don't fucking know. So let's go look and see if he has or not. Let's see, did, did this pop up? Okay, so here we are. This is, oh, we can't pull up that much. Okay, let, let's see here. Christopher, two subscribers and three videos. Jesus, we place peace in the hearts and minds. That sounds good. Sequence one dragon star. I don't understand. Um, a bunch of words, uh, seven years, whatever. Okay, that was two years ago, and then he has two videos from three years ago. It seems like you were on to something here, and I like what I'm seeing on your videos. Your videos need to be longer, but um, how long have you had this channel, bro? Let, let, let's check, let's check. Uh, 2009? Are you fucking with me, Christopher? Shit. Christopher. Christopher. 2009? Oh, hi, Nicole. You should be killing it. Promiscuously curious universal scientist. And he sets his mind to unknown arts. That's right. You went into third person suddenly. Um, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven and a wildflower 
hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour and caps whenever the fuck I feel like it. I dig it. Christopher, make some videos, dude. You got a lot of shit to say. I'm digging it. Do your do the fucking thing, bro. Do the fucking thing. Let's see here. Oh wait, no no no, I gotta go like this. Why is my mouse sticky? Fucking beer. Am I right? Okay, so there we go. Alright, so again, we're not gonna fucking read this, because that that that's a lot. That's heavy. Okay, what what's next here? Um Oh, this is some funny shit Brian said. Where is the Oh my fucking god, did he already delete his video or his comment because I fucking called him out? What a fucking coward piece of shit. Oh my fucking god. Okay, we're gonna have to just look for my video. Um, Ocean Vong, boom. Is Ocean Vong good? No, I just want to look at the comments. <gasps> Oh, I googled Ocean Vong is bad for poetry, and this video was among the only that seemed to respond to my question. I 100% think that Ocean Vong's work is pretentious, immoderate, unskilled, and cliche. His language seems indicative of aphasia. I wonder if he has had a stroke. No offense to stroke victims. This mo what the fuck you oh dude. <sighs> that is a lot to say, bro. Fuck. Okay, let, let, let me let me see what else we got. Here we go. This is what I saw earlier today. Okay, so check this out. What, what, can, can we even see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, eight months ago, some motherfucker said, and I think Ocean Vaughn looks great with a Matt Wall shirt. The real question is, why are the most disliked poets all of color? Let's think about that. I absolutely adore Ocean Vong. His words affect me. Okay, this is just pointing out how fucking racist the goddamn fucking literati is. The literati, academia, loves minorities and stuff when there is an event where they have to show that their white selves can be hanging out with someone of color when they could when their penises can hang out with the badge and like walk that around that's when it's cool but if you were just to ask some random no-faced fucker on the internet and they get their little typing fingers out they're going to talk a bunch of shit and you know what they're all going to be people of color they're all going to be fucking women or people of color because white fucking dudes can't handle powerful anyone who is not a white fucking dude and like all the people who are going to get mad at that shocker are going to be white fucking dudes so if you are a white dude and i just offended you look in the mirror and find out why that offended you because let me just say something to you if you were a fucking baller if you are the fucking shit that you think you are, me saying that would not affect you because you would have receipts to show how fucking awesome you are. So, before you get all fucking pissed off and start typing, just know that if you got mad, all that did was show how small you are and how nothing you actually are. Doesn't it suck to get schooled by some drunk fuck who looks like me in LA who writes poetry that you probably think is shit but sells more books than you've ever had in your life? Isn't that sad? God, you're so sad. Teach a fucking class on fucking prosody or something. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, so... I said, um, let's see, it's totally because middle-aged white dudes with MFAs are mad that their poetry won't get picked up and that's, and it's easier to blame race than admit that maybe their work isn't very good. Wow! I don't know if you guys know this, but past me is kind of fucking onto something there. 
I'm gonna fucking like my own comment like some douchebag McGinty. Okay, now this just happened 22 hours ago. And, and this is from a, a channel called, Hey Jay, how are you? I think there's supposed to be a question mark there. But, um, or no, he Jay, he -j. And I think that's from the Jackie Chan cartoon. We got some Green Day, that's fucking depressing. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, bunch of shit. More about this channel. No, it's been around since 2011. And all he does is put up uh, other people's shit. I don't know. Maybe VJ isn't very good at whatever the fuck it is VJ does. So I wonder what VJ is going to do. Maybe shit all over somebody else with talent? Let's see. Because, shocker. Let's see. Oh, this is a longer one, but not the longest. I think it's actually because contemporary poetry... Okay, so this motherfucker is answering a question without stating what the question is. So let's go back. The real question is, why are the most disliked poets all of color? Let's think about that. Okay. So, Hedge, how are you? Says, I think it's actually because contemporary poetry is generally very bad and both groups of middle-aged white dudes with mfas and dislike poets of color in quotes in case like okay so let me let me fucking say something to you vj the fact that you just put color in quotes like it's not a real thing just proves how much of a fucking douchebag you are do you not think that race has something to do with shit? Do you really not think minority groups are marginalized? Do you really think that? That's fucking weird. Yeah, Jackie Chan is your fucking goddamn pitcher. How do you fucking not know that? Oh my God. And you're British too, which I don't fucking get at all. Unless you're one of those, like, Lovecraft people who, like, even though you're American, you prefer to write in the, the Queen's English because that's what, like, fancy people do. So if you are American and you are writing with a U in color, like, the douche flow freely from you. Okay? So, anyway, back to this. Dislike poets of color churn out equal amounts of dog girl. Tell me what that is. I want to know what these equal amounts of, because I think you're full of shit. I have a sneaking suspicion that you don't really read as much contemporary poetry that is more free verse and popular than um, formal and academic and trite and bullshit. I have a feeling you read one of those way more than the other. So the fact that VJ could come out from under his fucking racist fucking rock and fucking say, Oh, um, there is equal amounts of this and that because I know. I think you're full of so much shit that it's fucking stinking up your fucking apartment. Okay, let's see. The difference is is that the latter group is more guys get your quotes out everybody get your quote fingers out because vj's talking so so we okay ready 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 the latter group uh, is more exotic are you fucking joking me exotic to main demographic of poetry readers i.e white women okay so VJ is coming out of his fucking Stone Age rock to say, if it wasn't for white women finding people of color exotic, none of this awful free verse poetry that actually sells a lot of books would ever sell a fucking thing. Oh wait, he has a source. Just Google poetry reader demographics. Maybe we should do that. 
All right. I will check your sources. Poetry, reader, demo, graphics. While audience members tend to be under 55 years of age, young adults between the ages of 18 or 24 are more likely to be part of the current poetry audience. And older adults between the ages of 55 and 75 are more likely to be members of the potential audience. Wow. I mean, if that doesn't just scream white women are fucking idiots, I don't know what does. Let's see if there's anything else here that corroborates anything that this fucking guy, fucking VJ of the VJJ, has fucking come up with. Let's, let's see. What is the demographic of poetry readers? Okay. Among all age groups, 25 to 34 year olds had the highest rate of poetry reading. 12.3%, up from 6.7% in 2012. Uh-oh, I, I, I see a vagina here. Women also showed notable gains, 14.5% in 2017, up from 8% in 2012. Holy HIV, can you believe it? As in prior years, women accounted for more than 60% of all poetry readers. Guess what, dude? I'm going to fucking let you in on a little something. You want to know what? I know. You want to know how I know? I'll tell you. Because women drop their drawers for poets. When poets write fucking good fucking lines that resonate with them. But I have a feeling VJ over here wouldn't know what the inside of a vagina felt like if it came up and bit him. Which is funny because if you take your finger, VJ, and you rub the inside of your cheek... That's what the inside of a vagina feels like. I know it's the first time you've touched it since you mom shit you out, but hey, guess what? It's 2024. Start finger banging your face, dude. Wow, this is probably one of the meanest. <laughs> VJ, I want you to know that we're just fucking around here, okay? This, this is just content, okay? I, I, I'm an entertainer. I'm a poet first, but Jesus fucking Christ. I'm here to fucking entertain motherfuckers. So calm the fuck down. Take the bullets out of your fucking little... Okay? Nobody gives a shit. Calm the fuck down. But let's, let's see if you're... Just Google what white women want and see what happens. Because my guess is that it's not VJ. Which is funny because I feel like all men, all they want is the VJ. Am I right, guys? Oh my gosh, hi, Nicole. Listen to me. Who is the target audience for poetry? Is it VJ? The poetry audience, why is it capitalized? Weird University of Chicago is comprised of those individuals who have read poetry, listened to poetry, or both within the last five years. Wow, give this motherfucker a grant. What type of people read poetry? Just chicks. The reading rate of those 75 years of age and older is 11% in 2017. 7.1% in 2022. Wow, that's a big drop. Maybe they all died from COVID. As for other demographic groups, African Americans in 2022 read poetry at a rate of 8.3%, down from 15.3% in 2017, when they had showed the highest rate of any racial or ethnic group. That's an interesting little fucking tidbit. I wonder why that is. Who was popular in 2017? Hmm. Shockingly that that's not a white woman. For starters, 18 to... Oh, wait. What age group? Okay, 18 to 24-year-olds. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Who reads the most poetry? Uh, African Americans, Asian Americans, and other non-white, non-Hispanic groups. Wow. Wow. All I did was Google what fucking VJ said to do. I feel like I need to be very specific and say, what is it that middle-aged white women do or just white women in general? Who still reads poetry? The answer is yes. You obviously don't understand how questions work. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I'm bored. I wanna yell at VJ some more. Okay, let's, let's get back to the hotel. Okay. 
da -da 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 -da. just Google poetry reader demographics. Hey, um, just so you know, I checked your receipts and your receipts suck. Um, so uh, maybe, or maybe Google just knows you're a fucking racist and you only like Google white women blah, white women blah. And so like, I don't know, maybe I should have done that. Maybe Google knows more about you than you do. Personally, I can't blame anyone for being affected by Vong's work. Okay, so stop. If you personally can't blame anyone for being affected by Vong's work, why did you say all the shit before that, and why do you say all the shit after that? If you can't blame someone, then shut the fuck up! This isn't even, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. It's that if you could see the validity in the opposite of what you're saying, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. You don't even care. Why make an argument if you're going to try to fucking like ride both sides of the fence and go, well, actually, even though I just said everyone who does this is a fucking idiot, I can understand why people would like it. And by the way, as we're going to see in a minute, everyone's a fucking idiot. Why would you even fucking talk? If you have something to say, stand by it. Okay? If you don't have anything to say, shut the fuck up! But I appreciate the comment. I do like the comments. I love getting comments like this, though. Because it makes me so angry and I just want to yell. Like snotty stupid poetry readers who think they're the shit are like my favorite group of people to hate because they're so fucking shallow they're so fucking transparent and they are so small they think they're tiny tiny small dick intellect and i'm gonna say that in quotes because it's not even very intellectual they just think it is because it has the word poetry attached to it that people are going to like go, oh, this person's really smart. No, let's, look at this. This is the dumbest crock of shit stacked on top of each other I've ever read. Okay, but honestly, how are you? Hage. Let's see. Um, personally, I can't blame anyone for being affected by Vong's work, but you're not going to convince me. No one's trying to. So like you could choke on a bag of dicks, okay? No one fucking cares. No one's going, oh man, I really need to convince VJ that Ocean Vong is good. Nobody fucking gives two shits about you. This video is probably the most anybody has given two shits about VJ in however many years. And the fact that there's going to be, I don't know, like 100 or 200 people who still give a shit about poetry seeing this video, this is probably also the biggest fucking audience you've ever had. Okay? <laughs> so fuck off. Nobody's trying to convince you to fucking do anything other than shut the fuck up if you don't have anything good to say. But I also like the comments, so keep them coming. Okay, so no one's going to convince this fucking douchebag that someone who pens the line. Dude, take your quill and fucking sound your pee hole, okay? Nobody pens lines anymore. You wanna know why? Because motherfuckers type fucking hard. So like this whole, like anyone who pens the line, take your underbite and fucking shove it in your rectum. Nobody cares, okay. Let, let's see what this line is. Anyone who pens the line, imagine being born in a hospice. Next line, on fire. So anyone who pens the line, imagine being born in a hospice, on fire, is capable of writing good poetry. And this is what I said underneath it. It's so funny how every person who bitches about shit does so by quoting a line that they find repulsive. Sant. Oh typing bad i'm drunk don't you understand that the reason why poetry you don't like is popular art is subjective you pointing out what a bad line is only reinforces that you have no fucking idea what people like nor does anyone so let shit be 
It will exist as long as people like it. You can die alone on your island where you are the only person that finds you relevant all you want. But poetry has moved past you and cares not if you want to join it. So sad. <laughs> Choke on it, you fuck. Anyone who pens the line. Okay, anyone who types pens the line is really hoping people find them fascinating. And guess what? I don't. I find you sad. You, you sad fuck who like dreams at night. Oh man, if only I had been born a hundred years ago, I would have given Pound and Elliot to run for their money. <laughs> Back when only white men were allowed to write good poetry. Uh, well, except for Emily Dickinson, of course. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, am I right? Whatever. Shut up. Oh my God. I can just fucking go on and on. Guess what? Imagine being born in a hospice on fire. I could imagine it. That's a great fucking line. What line have you wrote lately? Oh, I'll tell you. Um, but you're not going to convince me that someone who pens the line is capable of writing good poetry. Just like your dribble is going to convince me that I should listen to any fucking word that ever came out of your pen as you typed probably quickly with your thumbs on a fucking phone my guess is the phone is like three generations old almost broken you can't afford to get a new one because you know education degrees work whatever you started your channel uh, 2011, which probably puts you in your mid-30s, possibly still trying to figure out what to do with your life. But you did have a Jackie Chan cartoon image. You did listen to Green Day. I'll put you at late 30s, early 40s. What a sad fuck. I I'm, I'm not even mad at you anymore. Like that, like this is what cracks me up. When people fucking leave me comments that are like angry, but they're like, oh, he obviously won't get upset by this because I'm obviously so intelligent. Here, let me dribble. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Anyway, is Ocean Vong good? I don't know. He had a couple good lines. Oh, I, I didn't have the other screen up that whole time. There you go. He said some shit, whatever. Um, I hope you liked looking that close to my face for however long it's been. Cheers, guys. By this time next week, I'm gonna be fucking drowning in coconut juice. And a rooftop pool and possibly vagina while writing poetry. What are you gonna be doing? Oh, you're going to be mad that Ocean Bong exists. Awesome. Poetry, guys. <laughs> and um, Poetry is Bullshit is coming. My book of craft. How to. You're going to love it. This dude's really going to love it. He's going to be like, oh, this fucking guy. Can't believe I've talked this whole time. Oh, real quick. Mart. My poetry book about walmart is available on amazon with all my other poetry books and all my other fiction something else that i'm guessing vj can't say type art everybody and i will talk to you all later